good morning students welcome to e subhidya hope you all are fine and safe students in the previous class we have completed the poem the mountain and the squirrel today i am summing up theme of, summing up the theme of the poem and we'll discuss some activities students as we know the poem the mountain and the squirrel is written by the great american essayist lecturer philosopher and poet ralph waldo emerson and in this poem the poet wants to convince the readers that all is well in the god's creation everything is perfectly and systematically arranged in the god's creation nothing is superior or nothing is inferior even if a tiniest object or a tiny tiniest animal in the god's creation has its own importance and value and dignity and nobody should feel disgrace nobody should feel loss of a dignity and reputation because of a tininess so here in this poem as we have seen that once the mountain and the squirrel had a quarrel they had angry arguments and the mountain accused the squirrel as little prick means a little proud narrow minded creature but here the squirrel answers the mountain in a very interesting manner and the squirrel proves that it talents differ and everything is systematically and perfectly arranged in the god's creation the squirrel convinces the mountain that no doubt doubtless you are so great you are so vast but everything has its own importance in the god's creation and all weathers are combined together to form the year and all the objects and all the living and non living organisms are combined together to form this whole world and the tiny object the tiniest object has its own importance in the god's creation because the almighty god has blessed everything with a certain special things or special things which is not found with the other thing so in the whole world it's made of a different things and the whole year is made up of different weathers and if you are feeling proud that you are so great you are so vast i am also feeling proud for my tininess if you are so great if you are so big i am also so small and i am happy with my tininess and i am quite pleased with my tininess and no doubt you are so big and you are so vast but you are not half spry like me like full of life active and energetic like me and no doubt you are so great and so vast and but talents differ there are beautiful squirrel tracks are there on you and you can carry the trees on your back but you can't crack a knot like me you cannot break a knot like me so talents differ and everything is so systematically so perfectly arranged in the god's creation and no one is inferior or no one is superior in the god's creation and never ever compare yourself with others because the almighty god bestowed you or the almighty god blessed you with a special blessing and you are important for the almighty god and you are created by the almighty god for a particular purpose for a particular a particular thing and never feel distressed never feel distressed never feel that it is a loss of a reputation being tiny or being small okay so 
here the squirrel convinces the mountain that he is not feeling disgust or he is not feeling sorry or he is not feeling it as a shame or loss of a dignity because of his tininess if you are feeling proud for your what for your vastness i am also not feeling disgust for my tininess and everything is blessed or everything is arranged in a systematic manner and all is well in the god's creation if i am not so vast like you you are not so active like me if i cannot carry the forest on my back you also cannot crack a knot like me so everything is important in the god's creation so this is the theme of the poem the mountain and the squirrel students look at the following sentences the mountain is big the squirrel is not so big ramesh is rich hori is not so rich malti is intelligent surabhi is not so intelligent gopal is clever krishna is not so clever so students in this poem the poet uses aaj aaj with a not okay the poet uses aaj aaj with a not in the poem they are used to compare the qualities of a two objects or persons okay so aaj aaj is used to compare the qualities of a two objects or persons so use the same expression to combine the sentences given below so now you use as as to combine the sentences below one is done for you okay one is done for you so the mountain is big the squirrel is not so big so now we have combined these two sentences by using as 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 we have discussed as as is used to compare the qualities of a two objects or a persons as as is used to compare the qualities of a two objects or persons so now we have combined these two sentences by using as as how the mountain is big the squirrel is not so big so we have combined this by uh, uh, with the what with as as we have combined the both sentences using as as but the squirrel is not as big as the mountain so now let us combine the given sentences by using as as Ramesh is rich. Hari is not so rich. Students, the answer will be Hari is not as rich. Hari is not as rich as Ramesh. Hari is not as rich as Ramesh. Let's see the next sentence. Malti is intelligent. Surabhi is not so intelligent. So Surabhi, Surabhi is not as intelligent as intelligent as Malti. as malti so surabhi is not as intelligent as malti so the last two sentences are gopal is clever krishna is not so clever so let's combine these two sentences using as as krishna is not as clever as clever as gopal krishna is not as clever as gopal so students today we have completed this poem the mountain and the squirrel so you recite the poem at least two three times and try to answer the comprehension questions thank you have a nice day see you in the next class